Hey, what's going on? This is Inside Free, and today I'm bringing you some uh, tips on how to rush snipe on Modern Warfare 2. And before I get into this, I'm just gonna tell you now that these are not tips on how to uh, advance snipe on Modern Warfare 2 or, or snipe properly. Sorry, uh, th these aren't tips for scout snipers or or the support role which you would typically expect a sniper to. You. So if you're looking for tips on that, this is not the video for you. This is tips on how to um, attack with the sniper rifle. Uh, which you see a lot of people doing, a lot of people do it unsuccessfully. So I'm going to uh, hopefully give you a few pointers on uh, what to do. So firstly you want to create your class. You want to you wanna create this the correct class. Sorry. So... I would recommend uh, for attacking sniping, you want to use the uh, the Barrett 50 cal. Uh, now, some people are gonna disagree with me and say, like, no, intervention is a lot better of a gun. When you think about it logically, the intervention isn't a better gun. It, it's really not a better gun. If you had to say anything, you would say the intervention is a flashy gun. It is a gun for montages, but the the 50 cal has many more advantages. Firstly, it is a semi-automatic. Uh, it has more power, I believe. Anyway, it seems to kill a lot quicker for me, or not quicker, but I don't get uh, many hit markers with the gun. It holds more bullets. <laughs> um, and look. It, it just seems a better gun. It's better in close, uh, close combat. Um, so, so yeah, that is that is the gun I would recommend. Uh, and once you get better, and once you feel you could uh, handle yourself well, then use the intervention. Or if you're calling for a montage, then sure, I would recommend uh, using the intervention because I would agree that it does. Uh, make clips look better. So next, you want to set up the correct kill streaks uh, perks. Sorry, I got into kill streaks in there. So for your perks, you obviously want to use stop and power pro uh, and steady aim pro. Now this is the most important perk. If you were playing a support sniper role, then I wouldn't recommend to use uh, sleight of hand pro. But because you're going to be playing such an attack and roll, and you're going to be spending most of the time in the enemy spawn, or in the enemy's half of the map, you're going to want to use slow pan pro. Um, and last, it, it's up to you. A lot of people use uh, ninja pro, but uh, a lot of people also use steady aim. So that is up to you. That is uh, your decision. It doesn't really make a difference either way. I can't see if you are attacking why you would want to use Ninja Pro. Um, because, you know, obviously, I can see the advantage of sneaking up on people, but I, I don't really get a lot of them opportunities on Modern Warfare 2 using the sniper rifle. So, so next, you want to set up your kill streaks correctly. Um, and no, I don't see hardly anyone doing this. I'm sure a lot of the the players that play properly on this game have seen the snipers come in, join on their team, and play awful. And you're, you're shouting at your screen, you're throwing controllers at your cat, and uh, you're just pissed off that they're doing so horrible. So what you want to do is use low kill streaks. It helps your team out so much you like you don't even realize like if you use if you get a free kill streak usually you're using like the 5 7 11 or the 7 11 25 like you're not going to get that attack sniping especially if you're new to it you're not going to get that so what you're going to use is 3 4 5 or 3 5 7 I'm using 4 5 7 it's not because I'm not confident that I can't get a chopper gunner, it's just because the likelihood of people spawning behind me 
especially in this game, is quite high. So you're going to want to use something small. So if I do die a lot, I'm at least giving something back to my team. Because uh, if I'm bringing in the occasional Predator missile and I'm constantly giving my team UAVs, they really haven't got much to complain about. So don't be the don't be the annoying player on the team. You know, help your team out. Use kill streaks that you, you feel you're capable of getting in the game. And something I forgot to mention earlier was for your secondary. Oh, I really can't stress this enough. Use bloody missile launchers. Please, please use a javelin or an AT4 or an RPG just to bring down chopper gunners and well not chopper gunners but air support it's really frustrating when bad players uh, make it even worse by not shooting down the air support that is in because of them in the first place so use uh, use those so just in case you're having a bad game you can bring it down so your team doesn't suffer and using this you're likely to win more games because uh, you all know if uh, you're playing a game and for the whole game there's constant enemy chopper gunners, enemy 8130s then we all know you're not going to win the game but if you're bringing this th stuff down straight away firstly it frustrates the other team and usually they leave if I, if I join a game late and uh, I'm praying I'm playing properly and someone on the other team is annihilating my team. The first thing I will do is bring out my javelin and I'll shoot down whatever he has in the air straight away. And if he keeps killing my team, I'll keep I'll keep shooting it down instantly before uh before it manages to make a kill. This I know how much it frustrates players because it really frustrates me. If I'm in the game and there's someone on the opposite team going two to twenty nine and they're constantly shooting down my air support it's really really frustrating and you know a lot of people will back out so the game's uh, coming to an end here it was a quite quite good game and a lot of what helped me out was like I said using the low kill streaks the 357 and uh, there's a few more things I wanted to talk about on sniping and uh, I will get on another video so so yeah I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time